Good day everyone and welcome back to Clean Cut EDC. Today we are taking a look finally and doing a full review on the Pickled Steel Valkyrie in Titanium. Look at this beautiful, beautiful knife. This thing is incredible, man. I really hope that you guys can see the the color changes in the in the scales from the sort of a gold to marine green color. And that's how they anodize this, and it is beautiful. There's also a just plain gray one, which sort of looks like this, but uh, has a matte finish to it. And um, then there is also a purple one. So yeah, so that's the, the three variants that they have. In South Africa, it's known as the Pickled Steel Valkyrie in titanium. In Europe, I think, or America, it's known as a X took something like that x touch or x took i don't know how you pronounce it but um yeah it's a oem design and it is awesome <laughs> it is really good i just love it look at that harpoon blade shape it's a bit blasted finish on this m390 blade and that is just sick man yes this is cool it has a front flipper which i'm gonna try under the camera and it works great um, and it also has a normal flipper, has some very functional jumping on the spine of the blade. Yes, yes, I love it. Nice little thumb ramp there for your thumb to slide into. Not the biggest knife in the world, but I do get a, a four finger grip on this guy. And that's fantastic. I hope you guys like the the thumbnail. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually terrible. It is butterfly wings that they caught i don't know how they did it but they sort of set it in glass and then made a like a glass i don't know showpiece thing out of it but yeah um i didn't buy it i just you know got it so <laughs> i didn't buy it so yeah i just got it uh as a frame lock being a titanium scaled knife it will have a frame lock and it's a very functional frame lock very easy to to decompress this knife it's a super functional flies out runs on on uh, ceramic ball bearings if i'm not mistaken that is must be must be um nice nice awesome pocket clip we have here a lot of room for um for your clothing stands off and you can actually switch it around to a left hand side carry yeah and i think uh, this knife is pretty ambi you can definitely close it with uh with your left hand i mean i can close it with my left hand so if i can do it a lefty can definitely do it and i can do it quite easily it's um yeah it's great it does drop shut it's a little bit difficult to show under the camera but uh, it does drop shut and it's very very satisfying to hold this texture is just perfect it is basically perfect you know um it's not too aggressive where you sort of feel like it's a uh, bleeding into my hand but it's um it's grippy enough to to provide fantastic grip and to sort of solve that problem that you have with some titanium knives and also some stainless steel knives like the rake you know this thing has zero grip it is super slippery and many uh, titanium knives i don't have the, the others with me right now but um for instance the kaiser that i showed you guys on that unboxing the kaiser Vita from elijah Eichem, great design but also slippery when it comes to the handles right but with this guy no no you're not going to slip at all. It's probably better grip than you'll get on texture G10. So that is great. Sits very nicely in the hand. I like that the the handle sort of has a slight curve to it. It does fall into your palm very nicely. This is definitely a super comfortable knife to hold. And I really like the bead blasted finish on this blade. It is epic. Such a cool look. Such a cool look to this M390 blade. M390 obviously is super steel. And a high-end steel of that, it's a it's a great steel. M390 is quite rust-resistant, keeps a fantastic edge. It's better than S35VN or S45VN. And, um, yeah, it's it's a great all-rounder steel. I, I really like that they used M390 for this one. Um, yeah, it's definitely also a showpiece and a very interesting knife, especially with the way it shifts color. Um, it makes for a very interesting interesting knife you won't get bored of this knife at all this is super super cool as a standoff here at the back which also includes a a uh, loop for your lanyard so lanyard all there 
beautiful anodized standoff here or backspacer here. Rather backspacer, more backspacer than a standoff. I love how uniform they got the the um, the scales, you know, the, the anodized element of this. This is this is great work. I mean, that's fantastic. Um, not an easy thing to do. They definitely didn't do this by heat. They had to do this by electricity. That's I don't think you can get it this uniform um, by using heat uh, to anodize it, right? So yeah, interesting the cutouts here at the back of the of the scales definitely helps when you flick this knife open so that you don't run you know into some hard corners or some sharp corners not that it's very sharp but it definitely adds to the comfort when uh, flipping the knife open so that's just a added bonus right there interesting how they think of these stuff i mean it's good it's very good that they just keep on improving keep on making it better and it's small changes like that that really makes a difference and takes a knife from you know, the budget line or the premium line to the ultra premium line, right? So that's awesome, man. Yo, really love this knife. This is definitely my my grail knife for sure. Um, and also just so special to me uh, coming from Pickled Steel, you know, this is yo, an incredible, incredible gift. Uh, I mean, I'm without words at just how wonderful this is and, and it means so much to me. So really love this knife. It's it's perfect. Let's do some size comparisons. Um, here we have the Gerber Paralite. I'm just using some knives that I feel is close to the size. And the QSP Penguin. I even feel sorry for this Valkyrie being among such peasant knives. You know, it's... <laughs> It's, uh, it's terrible. Yeah, so the Gerber Paralite and the QSP Penguin are basically the exact same size. And they are both just a year short of a centimeter short of the the, the, uh, the Valkyrie. Here we have the, the Freya, which is also the Remet Peacock in other countries. And they are basically the exact same size. So, exact same size on the Freya. So if the Freya fits your hand well, the Valkyrie will do just the same. Let's compare it to some bigger knives. Here we have the Stubby, Caliber Stubby. Really enjoyed this knife. It sort of surprised me how much I enjoyed it. I just got it because it was so incredibly affordable. But um, it's been surprising me ever since. So yeah, uh, and a large Honey Badger. So now you have a fairly good idea of what it looks like against a large Honey Badger. Okay, and then finally, let's measure it up against the... Leverman side clip, which is same in length when closed as the Leverman wave, and then also the Rake P801 SF, very popular knife, and yeah, I that's a controversial thing for me. I, I don't agree with that, um, with its popularity, but uh, yeah, there you go for some size comparisons. Let's do the weight on this Valkyrie. Woo, man, I love this knife. This is. Unfortunately, guys, for, for some of you now thinking, oh, I, wanna, I want that knife, I want to buy that knife, you know, it's um, it's going to be tough because I think they are exclusive. So, so 79 grams is what it's going to be on the scale for weight. And that is a fantastic, fantastic EDC weight right there. 79 grams is absolutely nothing. Definitely a lightweight, but still solid fuel in hand knife, which is awesome. Exactly what we want, right? You can see there's some cutouts there in the titanium frame to drop some weight. And it makes for a very comfortable EDC knife. Centering is absolutely on point. Don't think you can get it more centered than that. <laughs> it's just absolutely perfect. Yeah, guys, so the price on this, you know, it's going to be 3,000 Rand. Uh, unfortunately, it is sort of exclusive and uh, they only do that sometimes. They only get them sometimes. And uh, when they do, they only get them in small amounts. And honestly, I I want people to have it, but I also feel that it it makes it more special to actually own this knife. You know, if, uh, if less people have it, um, it makes it a little bit more exclusive. So that's nice you know for for those who actually do have the knife um yes because the more limited edition it is the more rare it is and the more rare it is the more special it is and we like that <laughs> so yeah okay as far as price goes three thousand rand i don't think that's 
a lot of, I mean, it is a lot of money, but I don't think it's a lot of money for what you're getting, right? Now, I guess there's some people out there out there who would say, yeah, you know, I don't know, what, what else can that knife do that my normal HCR knife can't do, right? And I get that, you know, in terms of function, it is it is going to be fairly similar, except for the super steel and obviously titanium scales. You know, it's going to be a lot more durable. But uh, in terms of what you'll use it for on a daily basis, um, you can basically use it just for the same stuff, right? <laughs> but in terms of the enthusiast and the collector, you know, for the material, this is actually a great price, right? Uh, below 3,000 Rand is an absolute steal for a titanium knife in M390 blade steel. It's, it's awesome. It's an awesome price, right? You get some spider goes. A PM2 in M390 with G10 scales is going to be like almost 4,000 Rand. A PM2 in S35 in, which is a not as good steel as M390, is, uh, is going to run you about... 4,000 Rand, and that's in G10, and I mean, the material here is just far better, so I love it, I think it's great, um, it's in the same price class as another knife that they are releasing now in titanium, it is called the Pickled Steel 4, and it's basically the the best one that they have at this moment, right, it is the, the one that everyone wants, because it has some sick titanium scales with some awesome carbon fiber inlays, a button lock system and M390, a nice thick, I think like three and a half millimeter M390 blade, right? Um, that thing is terrific. And I hope that one day I can show you that knife. Uh, but uh, even if I don't get to keep it, you know, I would like to show you guys that knife. It is beautiful. But this is my grail knife and super special. I would just like to do some measurements real quick. And uh, then I will talk about what I don't like on this guy. 19 centimeters overall length. And we have handle length of... That's going to be 11. About 11. A little bit short of 11. And then a blade length of a little bit short of 8.5. Somewhere along those lines. Uh, is it? Wait. Let me just check that again. Yeah, a little bit less. It's going to be around 8 for the blade and then around 11 for the the handles obviously simple math <laughs> has failed me again okay it is a very very comfortable knife okay guys what i don't like about this knife is absolutely nothing there is nothing that i would improve on this knife there is nothing that i don't like about this knife it is by all accounts it is absolutely perfect in my book uh the detent ball Maybe you guys can see that detent ball in there. It might be a ceramic detent ball, uh, which will help a little bit with regards to just the wear and tear. And it is very functional, very smooth little detent ball. It's at the very start of the frame lock. Good lockup. It's about 40% uh, lockup. That's exactly what you want, around 40 to 50 percent is what you want for the lockup. Yes, this is such a cool knife. Oh, I love it, man. I love it. Okay, so what am I going to use it for? I'm going to use it for display purposes mostly, and the occasional carry. You know, I would I would carry this occasionally to the appropriate places. Nice jumping also, just on this uh, flipper tab. Highly functional flipper tab. Looks cool. Feels great. It's awesome. Guys, have a knife day. I would have said that, you know, pick up a pickled steel titanium Valkyrie, but unfortunately I don't think you can at this stage. Um, if you go to the Facebook group, you know, you will be updated about uh, possible releases on the pickled steel Valkyries. So uh, when they do arrive, they come in batches of like four or five. So you will have to jump at them uh, because they won't be, around for long i can promise you guys that this knife is really that good it is terrific awesome guys have a knife day and remember that no knife means no life